Well, hi, and welcome to part three of my um, beginner tutorial for Twitter. In part one, I gave you a basic walkthrough of Twitter and um, you know explained what was part of each of the menus. In part two, I showed you more about uh, your particular profile and um, some direct messaging. Now, in this uh, tutorial, I want to talk about uh, account settings. So really getting into the um, how you set up your profile on Twitter. I'm going to cover things um, you know, regarding your account, including your time zone, um, your language. I'm going to also look at your password and notifications, profile design, and, um, and the associated applications. So to, to get to your settings page, once you've logged into Twitter, just go up to your name, click on the drop down, and then open up settings. Now when you get in here, it's defaulted to the account tab. You can see where it's got um, my name. Um, I can change those via the profile settings, which are over here, and we'll get to that in a minute. Here is your username. So my Twitter handle is John Frankie J. Now I could be changing that to something else if I like. Um, John Young is taken, um, but maybe there's a John underscore Young or something of the like. Um, so it is possible for you to change your name after you've created. However, what I would suggest is that uh, you change it early on if you decide on changing it, um, or you don't change it at all. Um, what can happen is uh, it can make it harder for people to find you because the account essentially looks closed down if they link to your old uh, account. So your public profile is twitter.com forward slash your handle in this case John Frankie J so if you change that then if you've got um, a link that's coming from your blog or elsewhere then um, that won't be um, you know, that's not going to go to your new profile so avoid changing it uh, if possible um, if you need to change it then let your followers know that, um, that you plan on changing it uh, you've got your email um, that you can put in so this is where all your notifications go um, you know, your messages from Twitter. You can only use that one email um, once. If you want to create a, a, another Twitter account, like if you choose on having a second or third, you can't reuse that same email. So it's one email per Twitter handle. Um, you can select your language um, for the most suited to you and then select your time zone. I'm in, um, I'm in the time zone of Melbourne, so I've got it associated there. You can choose to add a tweet location if you like. So, uh, you know, on handheld devices, a phone, something like that, it can provide um, a, a small map or it will show a small map of where you are, depending on how that person's got it set up on their Twitter feed. Personally, it doesn't interest me. If I want to let people know where I am, I'll, I'll tell them. So I, I don't tick that on. Um, tweet media. Um, so, there's these sort of things that I don't have um, on because I personally don't think that they're of value. If you want to learn more about them, then you can click on this learn more button and, and understand you know, more about that. Uh, you can tweet, uh, have, have some private tweets. What this is, is um, if you've seen people that have a lock mm -hmm. next to their name, mm -hmm. what actually happens is uh, by you ticking this box, it's preventing people from following you without you then providing them permission. So if I had ticked this on, um, then if I hit save, it will then mean anyone that wants to now follow me, I have to approve. So you might wanna have that um, to start with in a private setup, just to get used to Twitter, Twittering so that you're not um, um, feel too exposed. And that way you can start to follow people, that's okay, um, but you won't necessarily get followers from that, so it might be a good way for you to learn to start off with. Um, I've never had it on. Um, I can see some value in it if you wanted to keep um, your network small and private, um, but for me, it's I don't find it uh, useful. What I do suggest is having the um, HTTPS. All this means it's it uses a secure connection where available. So my preference is to always use security. Um, so this is a, a good thing to have on. So that's your account tab. Um, in your password tab, I would recommend um, changing your password periodically. Um, Twitter handle or Twitter Twitter accounts do get hacked. So if you change it, keep it long, 
um, put numbers and letters, uh, capitals, all that. Uh, and, and what you can do is um, to change it, just enter your current password and then just put a new password in if, if you like, um, making sure it's the same one there and then change it over. Um, you can add your uh, mobile number in there. Um, I haven't added it. I don't see the value here. Um, you can choose your country and all that sort of thing. Personally, I've got an application set up on my phone, so I don't need to add uh, this in. This is more for um, sending and receiving tweets um, on your phone, um, so it sort of links to your your phone number and will send it as a, like a an SMS type message. In your notifications tab, this is where you choose how often you get notified of messages. So messages will get sent to me at admin at johnyoungblog.com, and they'll. It will email me when I'm sent a reply or um, or mention. So if someone replies to one of my t tweets or mentions me in a tweet, I get an email straight away. Um, and then for any activity, so when my tweets are marked as favourites by other people um, or my tweets are retweeted, I will get an email straight away to say that um, you know this is what's happened. And then I get the occasional product or service updates related to my Twitter account. You can turn those off. You can modify that as you need. I see the value in having these on um, when there's a, a reply or mention because I don't want to um, I don't want to miss out on someone talking about me. If my Twitter client, my my phone is not picking up those mentions straight away. Well, my my email will get that, so I never want to miss when someone mentions me. I always want to respond as quickly as possible. Um, Twitter is such a, a fast-moving uh, system that if I don't respond to a tweet for um, it, you know longer than half an hour or an hour, well, that person's thinking that I don't care, and that's not true. I do care, and I will respond, um, and I will respond as quickly as as possible. So having those uh, notifications there just makes it, um, just makes sure that I get that message. So now if we look at profile, um, you can choose your own um, picture to upload. When you start out, you start with a uh, an egg and then that um, can move into the bird picture. I, I highly, highly recommend uploading your own um, picture, whether it be your own logo, Preferably your own picture, and you could put, say, um, your name, like your company name or something, um, somewhere at the bottom of that picture. Um, or if you're going to use a um, a logo here, you can adjust your background, which I'll get to in a minute in the design section, and that would include maybe a picture of you. It t tells you the sizes, so uh, up to 700k, preferably a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. So. Um, Create, find an image of yourself, use an image editor to crop it down so it's just what you want on the um, on the picture, then upload it here. Um, display your real name uh, where possible. If you have your company name, it makes it harder for people to, uh, to, to connect with you because if they were to say find uh, Target, the Twitter handle would be Target. Uh, and if they called their name just Target, well then it's, it's hard to know the people behind that Twitter handle. So maybe Target would have many Twitter handles for different departments or different sections, um, but you can change that name to, uh, so it could be you know Target John or whoever that person is that's working there. What it's doing is it's just giving, um, it, it, it's providing the name behind a person. You could leave it as the, the target support team if that's what it is, and then down the bottom in the bio you could put down some names in there if you like. Um, I, ha I have included my location, I'm on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria, Australia, and I've included a link to my website. And this is one of the most important things with Twitter because if someone's trying to find out more information about you, one of the first places they look is your profile and th they will click on your link um, to your website. So I highly recommend putting that in. If you don't have your own website, then put a link to um, an area where you want people to go. Maybe it's your Facebook fan page. Maybe you've got an About Me page or another social profile that you want to link to. If you've only got Twitter and you're only using Twitter, you can leave it blank if you like. 
but that there is excellent real estate to then uh, encourage people to, f to you know, learn more about you. So you've got your bio where you can put in information about you. I've put a link to, um, this link goes to an about me page. So if someone clicks on that, it goes to um, you know a page that has more links of where they can find me. Um, it, it just mentions a bit you know briefly about what I do. I'm a social media consultant. Um, I do real time communications. I'm a fan of Android, and I've got a new project called so Social Marketing DNA that I'm working on right now. You could set up po posts uh, your tweets to Facebook. Personally, I don't want to do that. Um, if I'm going to post to Facebook, I'm going to go into Facebook and post it. I don't necessarily see the value at this stage of posting from Twitter directly into Facebook. Um, that's a whole other topic, which if you want some want to know some more about my thoughts on that, just ask me in the comments below. Uh, I don't find value in, in doing that. Others might. Um, so that's why I haven't connected it. If you look at the design section here, this is your background. So you'll see sort of around the edge, I've gone with this, just this black, um, you know, black, almost honeycomb type pattern. Um, you could upload your own design and this is where you could upload an image of yourself. Maybe you'd have links to um, your website, your, your Twitter handle, your phone number, your location, your opening hours, something that would um, uh, describe what you do. Now, that's just an image background. Those links you cannot click, uh, click on, they're just, just there. So if someone wanted to actually access that, then they've got to type it into their browser. So use it as more information about what you do and who you are, uh, and that will just give it, you know, people the chance to learn more about you. In the Applications tab, we have the applications that I have um, linked to. So there's a lot of different Twitter applications that um, require this sort of access, and I've, I'm connected with a number of these. So if you at any stage you want to revoke access, you just go and click uh, revoke access on this. Now to get these sort of uh, connections, you've got to go to a third party uh, client and that will ask you to sign in with Twitter. Um, it will say, you know, do you authorize Twitter to connect um, you know, to this account? When you agree there, then it links up your Twitter account with that application. At a later stage, if you're not happy with that connection, then you can revoke that access straight out of here and then it won't draw upon that data. So these are all applications that I use, third party. Um, and you know, it's a bit beyond this, this tutorial at the moment. So when you start out, you won't have any here. To gain these, you've got to go to third party applications and sign up there. So this has been a bit of a, a walkthrough on uh, your settings page and a, a few of the key basics. If you've got any questions or comments or concerns about this, please ask me a question below. If you'd like to follow me, my uh, Twitter handle is at JohnFrankieJ, as you'll see here. Uh, or go to my website, johnyoungblog.com, and what you can do is sign up for my newsletter and get all the latest information and news and videos such as this so that you can learn how to use the tools to connect with other people online. Um, all right, thanks for watching. And in the next video, we're going to go through more about actually creating a tweet um, and what it takes, uh, mentioning people, retweeting, and really getting stuck into how to actually do that now that you understand the basics of Twitter.